sorting out the uh, the screws from the washers in the drive in the garage. But here I am, hither hills. It's gonna rain like the hammers of hell. The dregs of Hurricane Michael are coming this way. Oh, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. What better time is there to go out in your teardrop trailer? To get here, I had to travel. Okay, I've gotta go across the George Washington Bridge. This is the busiest bridge in America. How much is, I got easy pass, how much is it for a car? Third 15, right? And how much is it with a trailer? One axle. I'm not sure the rate of it with a trailer, but for us, it's 33. 33, thank you. So it's 15 for the car, and with a trailer, it's 33, and I'm driving into a brick wall of traffic. I had to go down the Cross Bronx Expressway, I-95, which uh, is one of the, uh, the heaviest to travel um, highways in the U.S. Truck traffic is just unbelievable. I'm hauling this trailer, saying, what the heck, you know? So the dreaded Cross Bronx Expressway is what this is. It's I-95, and this section is the Cross Bronx Expressway. 295, and the Throg's Neck Bridge is up next. Throg's Neck Bridge, next up, Cross Island Parkway. Okay, I cleared the George Washington Bridge, the Throg's Neck Bridge, now the Cross Island Parkway, now I'm on the LIE Long Island Expressway 495, also called the Long Island Distressway. Montauk, here I come. I'm here, and uh, it's pretty damn nice. It's October. I'm out here for several more days, depending on if we don't get washed away. High tide. It's a lunar high tide. There's storm water's coming in off the ocean. So I'm behind a big dune, and if it gets that bad, I'll get in the car, hitch up the trailer, and drive away. Hither Hill State Park, pretty nice. These are the bathrooms in one section. Showers, pretty nice for a campground. Little bathroom, and it's uh, pretty good. Montauk is a beautiful area. The Shinnecock Indians are out here. Uh, they are, they have an active reservation out here. I think for a week it was $470, it's not cheap. You know, a hotel out here, the cheapest two-star hotel is $150. Uh, a good hotel, $250 and up. I'm happy in my trailer. When you're doing nothing, come on out here to Montauk and enjoy. One thing though, you have to make reservations way in advance. You can't just book all of a sudden. I made these reservations at least six months ago. Maybe at least six months ago. So book ahead. If you're happy everywhere else you go, you'll be happy here. If you're unhappy everywhere else you go, you'll be unhappy here too. There's a great white shark nursery out here. They don't reproduce, they're not sexually mature until 20 years old, unlike me. I was sexually mature at like five years old. So they, uh, the great whites don't reproduce until they're 20, and that's a problem. People fishing for the young ones are uh, taking out the population. But they've tagged them, and they found that they do come back here like every three or so years to have shark pups and 
and uh, I'll put a link in the uh, in the description about these great whites. What a what a what a tremendous uh, animal! I mean, one they're tracking out here, 3,500 pounds, I think, was the weight on it. They're waiting for the return of that fish. They expect it back here pretty soon. So, uh, oh, was that a fin I saw? Is that a fin? I think I'll put off swimming today. I put up a uh, MSR wing. It's pretty windy here. And I got the solar panels out. Got the car, two mountain bikes. I ride them both at once. Carpets are out. It's a beautiful day today. The person I'm with has to do some work. So I brought some auxiliary solar panels and another battery so we could charge the laptops from that. Remnants of Hurricane Michael. It's the day after the storm. It was a wild night uh, with loads of wind, thunder, rain pounding. I mean, it just, uh, the winds were changing direction every 20 minutes. It was unbelievable. And it was great. Cozy as a snug as a bug in a rug in the trailer. It was just really enjoyable. Uh, and today, went out to breakfast because it was pretty wet. And uh, it was still raining in the morning, but uh, there's a trailer girl doing work on her computer. Okay, and uh, I took down the, uh, the MSR wing. I dropped the poles because uh, it was just so windy. There's no need to let's just let it sit there and get pounded by the wind. Uh, the solar panels blew over face down today. I had to get out and put them up. Dry as a bone in the trailer. It was really good. You know, getting up in the morning and making, making breakfast in the rain. I'd have to set up a lot of crap and I didn't bother. I just went straight out and had breakfast out. Bladder alarm goes off. You got to sprint to the bathroom in the pouring rain. And I mean pouring. One thing I learned is it's a good idea to have a plastic bag in the trailer so when you come back from your ladder sprint you can uh, put your clothing in a plastic bag and then I will stick it up in the front in that little storage area and that will keep the moisture that's on the clothing contained. Time to assess the damage in the campground and uh, probably bicycles are one of the best ways to do that. This section of the campground flooded so they brought in pumps to, uh, to pump it out and they're just uh, sending this water right over the dunes out to the ocean. The rangers said we got between five and six inches of water last night. They'll pump all this out. It's time to charge the laptop and we're going to use DC to DC. So here, plug this in the laptop. Okay. And that wire comes down here to an auto charger which hooks up to this uh, 12 volt extension cord I've got. Okay and it's charging okay and that wire runs down here to this little adapter and that runs up to the battery and the battery is being fed by this little flex charge controller and these wires go over to the two one amp solar panels so these are putting out two amps and that's our simple laptop charging system I mean, the beauty here is you could use this anywhere, anywhere the sun's shining. Your car, camping, whatever you're doing, you could use a system like this. It only takes a minute or two to assemble this when you got the parts, and, uh, and it's fun to use. Mr. Willie. Al fresco. It's Montauk light. It's Montauk Point, the site of a hundred shipwrecks, causing the uh, the creation of the Montauk Lighthouse. Pretty popular spot with fishermen. 
don't know if you can hear it. The rocks make noise as the waves roll out. I'm looking for seals. Supposedly they get seals out here. Out to Montauk Lighthouse on bicycle. Biking after this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna so waddle we back to the camp. I would totally. Hey, hers is bigger than mine. Hey. We went around to the point and back. Wow, and that's a nice lobster roll. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna finish that? Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. Someone. One eighty, one eighty counterclockwise. So I'm experimenting with a cracker, wasa broad. You know, bread spoils pretty quickly, even, you know, and it takes up a lot of space in the refrigerator. <clears throat> While it's not an issue this trip, for other trips, it may be an issue, space and, uh, and freshness. So I'm experimenting with this cracker, wasa broad, which is much like uh, tree bark. And I'm gonna have uh, almond butter on it with uh, blueberry jam. So I'll let you know how it is. For me, wasa broad fits the bill. So if you're looking for a bread substitute, this may very well be it. It's uh, wasa broad, it travels well, pretty durable stuff. We don't have to worry about getting green mold on it like bread or chemical free bread. And uh, it tastes okay. Yeah, I'd say try it before you buy it. So is that Lucy Light waterproof? Yeah. Now that sound you hear, if you can hear it over the wind, is the sound of waves. When you sleep here, you sleep to the sound of waves. Continuous. It's wonderful. So relaxing. These birds are on their way back from the Arctic to head south. 